The STEM Equity and Success Initiative, SESI, is a comprehensive, multifaceted program intended to increase the participation and success rates of Hispanic and low-income students in STEM fields and careers. My name is Karina Corona. My name is Diego Gutierrez. My name is Karen Renteria. My name is Elizabeth. My name is Susana Alvarez. My name is uh, Martin Ramirez. My name is Talia. I am a freshman at Sacramento City College and I am in the SETI program. So my, my vision for uh, Sacramento City College as an HSI, Hispanic Serving Institute, is, is that we provide the students that qualify to be part of this program to have a sense of connection, a sense of a family here on campus where they not only uh, come here and attend courses, but also stay here and study here and work here. I believe that's gonna be the key uh, so students uh, take ownership of their education and also have a, have a very solid sense of belonging. Our overall goal um, as an HSI institution is to become a truly Hispanic serving institution. And what that means is providing uh, students the support uh, and the encouragement they need to be successful in their academics. Sacramento City College as a Hispanic serving institution means that 25% of our student population uh, is, has a Hispanic background. And what we want to do is, is, is really change it from HSI, meaning Hispanic serving, to Hispanic graduating. So when I look at the vision of, of, of our college is that not just Latinos, but all our colleges are great, graduating and completing at a much higher level. SESI is basically, I boil it down to uh, two words, high touch. And so we do outreach, dedicated counselors doing outreach, and we uh, assign the SESI students uh, faculty mentors, near peer mentors too. And so part of our job is to work directly with students uh, dealing with their academic issues, their non-academic issues, serving as sort of professional mentors. Early on, we're doing outreach to go ahead and teach students about science, technology, engineering, and math. Through that outreach, we're planting a seed. We're letting them know what kind of careers and what type of opportunities they're able to get in these STEM careers to believe in themselves and encourage that they can actually pursue and be successful. By taking the initiative to meet with these students one-on-one -on -one to better support them in the program and in their academic years here at Sac City. What made me interested in the SESI program was the sense of familia I got right away. Um, we all connected whether it was through similar struggles or our family background. I hope to grow as a, as a person. I hope to grow as a, as a mentor and think every student should have a mentor and in order to be successful they need somebody to guide them and that's what I'm trying to grow in and also not only for them to grow but for me as grow and learn from them as well. I joined the program because I heard about it from my counselor Julio and I, was, I didn't do too well on my placement test, so I was kind of disappointed about that. And I seen that you can go into like a more higher level English and math courses, and I didn't want to like take hella, like a lot of years doing simple classes, so I just decided to go with this, and I thought it would help me on my route to transferring. Uh, I heard about the program by the counselors, which was Elizabeth. She emailed me, and then she called me, and from there, I was interested because it was trying to help like my, com not community, but culture, my race, and I found like it's an opportunity to do what I like, actually enjoy to do. Uh, it gave people that were first, uh, first generation to college, um, a easier transition from high school into college. Uh, the mentoring, the, they help you with your books, they help you pay, also the teachers and their uh, what do you say, a little bit more understanding, uh, you know, about your situation, you know, first generation, you're probably the first one exploring the school system and stuff like that, you probably have a little bit less background on it. I think this program is different because they have a network that literally has you feel like you could fall and they'll catch you no matter what, and they're there for you, regardless of 
it's something for school or something at home or just something happening in your life. They really care about us. They want us to succeed. They give us everything that we need. But they also like show us that it's not just them we're gonna put in the effort. If we wanna succeed, we have to like put in the hours, study and everything. And they really make you feel like welcome, like you belong here. So my advice to uh, prospective Sac City students is to really reflect back on, on your experiences in starting kindergarten up through maybe third or fourth grade. Did you have fun building or playing and making music or being creative? Because those are the skills that transfer into STEM or science, technology, and engineering and math later. It's not how did you do in your biology class in seventh and eighth grade, but instead, did you have a joy for learning and playing and discovering? If you feel like you still enjoy music, you still enjoy building, maybe robotics clubs or something along those lines, then this is the place for you to really thrive, regardless of how you did maybe in your high school. It's gonna be very demanding, but now that they're here, they, they just should know that that they, if I made it myself and I was you know, not a very good student when I was in high school, not a very good student while I was in college or grad school, I got it done, I'm here now, and if I did it, I think they, they can too. Take a risk, believe in yourself. There are so many out, people out there doubting or not believing. Why be part of that team? Go ahead and take a risk, believe in yourself, dream, change your life, change your community, and change the world. Life is not easy. Any new adventure is not easy, but I think it begins with taking a risk and really uh, stepping outside of, the, of your comfort zone uh, and their comfort zone because uh, once we do that, uh, doors open and you find that there's people out there really interested in helping you succeed. In general, I would encourage anyone to come to Sac City because now this is starting a new way of looking at education, a new way of having both faculty and staff and students really work together as a cohort. And so it's a very inviting, warm, comfortable place to be and just a great learning environment overall.